Lots of parents say to me, how do I get my baby to stop waking a million times at night? Their bedtime's not that bad. They go to bed easily. But what about these three or four wakings? When I hear that, I immediately ask, so what's happening at bedtime? Is your baby put down into their crib awake, right? Awake and aware that they are in their crib and being given the opportunity to learn to put themselves to sleep independently. Like how I said that, giving them the opportunity because we know they're not going to like it, right? So a lot of parents say, well, no, 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 they're really awake, Kim. I put them in and, and their eyes open briefly and they roll to their side and they go right to sleep, but then they're up four or five times a night that's probably not awake and aware enough. So make sure you have an early enough bedtime, depending on your, you know, your baby's age, and that they uh, have a soothing bedtime routine. Ideally, if they're having a bedtime feeding, that the light is on, and that they are completely aware that they are going to sleep. Now that may mean that they cry. So this means that you are in the beginning of sleep coaching. And if that happens, you have to say to yourself, aha, Actually, they were being put down to sleep too drowsy. And when I put my baby down to sleep too tired and too as on the way down to the journey of being asleep, then they can't learn the skill fully of how to put themselves to sleep independently, which means they can't apply that in the middle of the night when they wake up. So bedtime is critical. That's why I always say start sleep coaching at bedtime after a great way, a day of naps, any way you can get them. I'm of course partial. I'd have you do the sleep lady shuffle um, at bedtime and the same thing for each wakening. Remember, we wanna have a consistent response to each waking. And before you know it, within probably seven to 10 nights, they are largely sleeping through the night. And if you're up for it, you can even start nap coaching the first morning after the first night of sleep coaching.